Hello, hello. Zako, you're, you're blitzed right now? You're Blitz Ball from Final Fantasy X? Incredible. <laughs> we'll get started in a little bit. In a little bit. Hello, hugs. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> We're going to be doing some pixel art soon. Woo! From a bill, you know what? Let me let me go ahead and go to let's see, Zatsu. Yeah, hello everyone. Hello, <laughs> Hugs. You came for your sticker? Yeah, g get your sticker. I turned off every redeem except for sticker. Yeah, there you go. You got your Pico and Ube sticker. Woo! <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some sleep though. Get some sleep. If you gotta get up in a couple hours, don't don't let me keep you. <laughs> Yeah, and then Sozako, you went to a build night and they gave you a free 15% bear. I know you said you corrected it to beer, but I know what you meant. You meant, you meant bear. <laughs> well, hello everyone. Let me know if... Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly add something to the title. If you didn't hear from either my Twitter or, or Discord, I'm a little... I'm a little under the weather i'm a little sicky <laughs> at least i think i have like a sore throat so five stickers congrats you did it hux <laughs> you got five stickers oh i didn't tweet out let me tweet out yeah uh energy and voice might be a little low today because i'm a little little bit sicky take care thank you thank you <laughs> thank you thank you but we we are going to be pixelating today as soon as i one, tweet out, and then two, pick some music to listen to today. And we, uh, I, I'm hoping to pixelate three folks. Um, I already have them in mind. <laughs> but first off, okay, what should I write? Okay, red circle. That's, that's the start. Red circle and then live now. Tilda. All right, I tweeted out. Okay, okay. All right, now let's pick some music. What are we listening to today, everyone? Uh, I kind of want to do more... Hmm. I feel like we listen to... Oh, wait, you know what? Valhalla. We should do Valhalla. Let me make sure it's playing, though. Oh, it seems kind of low. Actually, let me let me switch to my my pixelating screen. Oh, you know what? I should... Hmm. Okay, let me raise the decibels here. And then raise that. Okay, so as long as you can hear both the music and myself, we should be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be... We're, let's pixelate ha uh, Saku. Saku first. And then there's two other people that I want to pixelate. But I don't want to run the risk of having them stay up too late. But... What? What? <laughs> so yeah, if you saw your face, but if you if you have to go to sleep, <laughs> then go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep. Hugs, go to sleep. <laughs> the VOD will, will be here. Or if you prefer, I could I could uh, have you on another day, but but <laughs> No, no no no, don't stay, don't stay. <laughs> you have to go to bed. Do you have do you have a work or school? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's late. It's late. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's, uh, we are, because I already kind of started on Saku's. Let's come back to her. Let's come back. It, it's just college. I'll be fine. <laughs> no. 
Oh no! <laughs> I mean, that that was kind of my mentality too. In college, I was like, I'll be fine. <laughs> It's the memories you make along the way, right? But but still, if you feel EP, you can have me in the background. <laughs> I, I don't mind at all. You can have, have me in the background. You could go to bed. Either's fine, you know? <laughs> but let's see. Let's see if we can... Uh... Okay. He's so cute. I love the heart eyes. How am I gonna, how am I gonna embody the, the heart eyes? No, oh, no! Okay. Not Phil. You know what? This, uh... The... You don't got it? I want to! I want to. Wait, let's turn off the lights. Let's turn off the lights. Oh, I guess that's the same button to zoom out. <laughs> this, uh, the Valhalla... Wait, wait. I need the... I need the symmetry. The Valhalla soundtrack is kind of banger for, like, a pixel art stream. You're bald at <laughs> It is cute, it's adorable. Okay, let's see if I can should I make your eyes like extra big just so I can like embody like the the stars in your eyes? Oh wait, you know what? Maybe Nah nah that's too I wanted it to be circular, but if it's small like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's make some decisions here. How to had to embody Hux's cuteness. It's moving. It's moving. <laughs> Let's see. Try to think. Booba eyes. <laughs> oh wait, I got it. You want to turn off the symmetry? Have them both like do something like like that. I'm just kind of like randomly putting- I know it looks like a Q now. No, wait, yeah, it looks like a Q. <laughs> Mushy Bear, you got the Sapin Sapin sticker. Hello, hello. <laughs> we're pixelating some oompies today. We're, we're uh, starting off with Hugs over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. And don't worry, you're also on the list of, uh, of people I hope to, to pixelate. <laughs> You have the uwu mouth. I want to. I want to see if I can like, if I can embody that. But I. I'm just a little. <gasps> Wait. <laughs> it's not. It wouldn't be symmetrical unless. Wait. That looks like you're frowning. That's kind of cute though. <laughs> That would be so cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna, I wanna pixelate as many oomphies as I can, you know. <laughs> as the kids say, the oomphie. And if my voice and energy are a little low today, it's because I'm feeling a little, just a teensy bit under the weather. Oh my god, cute, <laughs> cute, 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 cute. You angry? No. Well, maybe, maybe. Well, your your uh, model here doesn't have uh, eyebrows. Right height. You got the lechflan sticker. Is your throat doing okay? It it's feeling okay right now. It, I just have like very low energy and like a little bit of fatigue. I'm hoping it, I'm not like actually sick. I I think maybe it is just like a lot of. Uh, um, there, there's been like, so I'm gonna say this, like there's been a little bit of stress at work, but it's not like, it's not like life-changing stress, it's just everyday stress. It's like, cause I, I work with lots of like, oh, you know what, since the forehead is now exposed, we can actually add more, more, uh, real estate for the eyes. So actually, let's, let's do this. Wait, there we go. We're we're schmoovin', we're schmoovin'. Let's move it up a little bit. Hello Matthew, hello, hello. You get in the intrusive thoughts to punt a child. No. No punting of children. No, so it's not that. It's like, it's more so working with like schools and teachers and it's like, it's also partially like, 
not I'm not gonna say like my fault, but it's also partially just like my mindset because it's like relatively minor stuff. It's like, oh, I have to like reschedule, you know, a workshop. And that in and of itself isn't too stressful, but it's stuff like, oh, if I reschedule this workshop, then I have to reschedule every single workshop after it because like, I don't know, I know I'm kind of being vague, so I don't like dox my, my work and position, but <laughs> basically it's like, it's stuff that like is looking not that stressful, but me as an anxious person is like, uh, changes, changes to my original schedule that I worked so hard to make. This sucks. And then it's like, when I when I have to reschedule those workshops, I have to like email a school and be like, <laughs> and be like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like you know, I know our original plan was this and that, but um, due to these factors. It's gonna have to change. <laughs> so you know what I mean. It's it's like not that deep, but for someone that's like kind of ang like that has anxiety, it's like oh I have to like low key disappoint people, even though the other person is probably just like yeah that's fine. <laughs> like, like no you're like no one thinks they're like I'm being disappointing at all, but you know your brain does your brain does gymnastics. <laughs> Your brain does gymnastics to be like, oh my god, they hate me. <laughs> where it's, where like the other person's just like, oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> we should move in. It'll be educational. You know the feel? Oh man, yeah, interacting with people. Yeah, exactly. They hate me. They hate me. <laughs> I know it's it's kind of low key like the the you know when someone texts you and they don't have an emoji or any kind of like. Uh, any kind of, uh... Sorry, let me just put this. There's no emoji or there's no, like, uh, indication that they're, like, in a good mood. Like, it's like someone texting you, it's fine, period. <laughs> it's, it's like, oh no, they're mad at me! <laughs> I have to leave uh, alert, but you should uh, make tea during an ad break today and do something relaxing after stream. Thank you, Mushi! Thank you! Don't have the- exactly. We don't- don't have the lol at the end. Exactly. No smiley, no emoji, no lol. It's like, oh my fucking god, they hate me. Like, I fucked up massively. And now everyone hates me. <laughs> yeah, have a good lurk, Mushi. <laughs> I would cry. <laughs> literally me, literally me. Oh, you know what? The, the, the pink- there you go, it goes a little bit around the eyes. Cute, cute. And actually, we now we have more room to do this. I feel like there should be some breathing room there. I want... okay. Let's see, how, how do we do this? <laughs> I think let's, let's just keep it like this for now. Just for now. I feel like the eyes can go bigger, but let's uh, let's stick to this for now. Wouldn't that be wild though if people did an uwu peace sign after saying something in meat space? <laughs> uwu! <will. laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, exactly. Like, it's stuff- like I said, it doesn't make sense to be like stressed out about it. It's like, if you imagine this IRL, it's like, yeah, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> but the braining, man. Uh, okay, so this is more of a blue, a little bit lighter, let's see, I think that's like an accurate color, hopefully, and we can change it if it's not. <laughs> it looks, it's like you're wearing a, are you wearing like a huge t-shirt? Yeah, brain a little funky. Yeah, the, the uwu cat face is always hard to do on a small character. <laughs> Yesy. Easy. Oh, you have the sleeves all the way down here too. Okay. Understood. Oh, then the question is... How do I... We, we gotta get the little random orb. The little, the little orb. Big t-shirt. Oh yeah, then that, that means there should be a little bit of, like, space here. There you go. Okay, let's get the Rand Orb going. Yeah, so as I was saying, it wasn't even just, like, that, that, like... I don't know, I feel like I've just been fatigued in general <laughs> lately. 
Um, and the weird thing is, like, you know, if if uh, streaming was like part of that, then I just wouldn't have streamed today. But there's something about streaming that uh, I don't know makes me really happy and relaxed. Like a part of me was like, dang, am I extroverted after all? <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm introverted. But I don't know, streaming, like, this doesn't take as much of a mental toll on me. How do you do the, the little hairs? <laughs> like, with, with so little pixels. Let, let's see how we can do this. What if? Hmm. Bald Orby. <laughs> then Orby would match you. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe, maybe like that. Just like we won't be able to do the little face, but at the very least, we have like the sticky note. And then. <laughs> And then maybe something like that. I don't know, that, that doesn't quite look like orb. You know what? You can cheat a little with a sprite. Because it has a circle function. Or I could actually do this. I could just like increase the, the brush size. Wait. I need that original color back. There we go. Look what happened. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. It won't be, you know what? It's not gonna be. You're gonna be like slightly facing the left. <laughs> Hi, May Shark. Hello, hello. Yeah, you know what? That looks pretty orby, wouldn't you say? Okay. Yeah, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's been a collection of those things that's been uh, stressing me out lately. Like little little minor inconveniences here and there. And then um, a little little dash of a uh, little dash of anxiety to spice it up. <laughs> but I feel like just uh, the the accumulation of all those things is, is kind of like taking its toll. But like I said too, like it's it's also been kind of nice. Actually, this works, right? <laughs> it's not like you know, it's it's not quite like uh, the three pronged hair, but it's like an it's like an indication of hair, right? Spicy mind goblins to add flavor, exactly, exactly. Wait, maybe let's see what happens if we move this over by just a little bit, just by one pixel. I actually kind of like that. Okay. No, actually, I like it how it was before. Because it matches your mouth. Like, your mouth is slightly to the left. There we go. And then, let's see. We gotta have the hearts. So the thing is, we gotta have the hearts. And also, I'm noticing that this should be a little more red. There you go. And then maybe we'll experiment with the experiment with the eyes, make them a little bit bigger. Uh, okay, okay. And you know what? We're also because you, your outline also has a like, it's slightly darker. Let's go ahead and make this darker. Hue shift it closer to purple. Give me a little darker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now actually, that's the lower, that's your chin. So we'll leave that and do that. <laughs> Question is, do we do that or do we make it black? Yeah, there we go. Cute, cute. My eyes just protrude out of my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, yeah. Let's, uh, okay, first of all, let's add some hearts. The only thing is, how did I do hearts with... There you go, with Milky. It was like a Y, right? So let's do that again. It's gonna surround you. It's gonna be like, like this. It might be, it might need to go a little bit further, like here. Fill up the negative space. And there you go. It's the border that makes it more heart shaped. And then some little, you know, some some little like just little floaty, floaty little hearts over here. And if you just add these, you know what, I think I'm gonna make you know what? These should be these should be red. These should be red. There you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Actually, that's a little vibrant, so let's uh, desaturate it just a little bit. Uh, like, we could do contiguous. There we go. Do -do 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 -do. Every time I have to draw a shmoop, the diagonal heart kills me. Oh my... Yeah, a, a full agree. <laughs> you know the struggle. You definitely know the struggle. And then, uh, just to quicken up the... the workflow, we can actually... <gasps> cute! Cute, cute! You know what, maybe... This needs a little bit more, like, breathing room. There you go. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, control. Oh, I gotta- I should turn this off. The, the, the whatchamacallit, the symmetry. There you go, some breathing room. Hehe. <laughs> yeah, diagonal's my weakness, same here, same here. Actually, <laughs> all of this is yes, but I have to, I have to space it out. How about this? So move this up. Move this up. There you go. Maybe a little bit more up. No, that's fine. And then this... Also goes up. And then this one goes a little bit more here. There you go! No, wait. Okay, let me fix that because I keep forgetting that like when the symmetry is turned on then It works if you're moving up and down but not left and right See like that <laughs> There Save check Okay Let's move this Move it Like here Cute, cute. And you know what? I think we need just one more. There. And one, two, three. Yeah. <gasps> Cute, you have like a ring of hearts. <laughs> yeah, it's circling you. It's circling you because you're so full of love. <laughs> okay, so now let's experiment with the eyes. Can we go bigger? That's the question. Can we go bigger, go home? <laughs> Symmetry on.
How goes it? Yeah, I was gonna ask you guys. How how goes it? How are how are things in in your guys' neck neck of the woods? Cause uh, well, the the good thing the good thing about like being a little bit sicky is that I actually did. I was supposed to go to a school site today. You know what? Okay. So, like, <laughs> This, this kind of like contributed to me being stressed out, but it was also like kind of a, a blessing in disguise, so to speak, because um, Okay, so I started feeling sick yesterday And then um, I was like, but I can't take the day off because then I'm going to have to like reschedule these workshops But I found a workaround. I did eventually find a workaround that it just worked out I didn't have to go into work today People like and people were able to cover for me and I just sent out an email and I was like, you know, apologetic So, you know, that was part of that was like kind of stressful to be like, I'm so sorry to like have to reschedule But I kept on getting messages of like, don't even worry about that. Like just just get better. Just get better <laughs> So that was that was kind of nice. That was, that was nice that people were, I don't know, wish wishing me not even just in the Bibinka court. It was like my coworkers too. They're like, don't even stress about that. Just get better. <laughs> um, let's see how this looks. Okay. Where we let's make this white. I know it it looks like very very like long and wide, <laughs> but <laughs> we will fix it. But yeah, so the the good thing is that I was able to rest today. Um, I still kind of had to do like work from home kind of. <gasps> Wait, we're cooking. There you go. Okay, let's add some highlights. Let's uh, let's play around with some highlights. So yeah, at the very least, I was able to rest today. Can we get much bigger? <laughs> Everyone doing art tonight? I got home from an eye exam, your eyes are- Oh yeah, you mentioned- I think you mentioned that when you posted in general. It's oh, I didn't respond, huh? Because you posted something in general. Oh, Korean fried chicken. That looks so good. Have you guys had the Korean, um, like- Is it corn dogs? Wait, what, what is, is it that they- why am I blanking on it? Like <laughs> they, they have corn dogs, right? Like there's like the the Korean like corn dogs, you know what I mean? They're so good. There we go. We're we're moving now. See? Look at all that like eye shine. You were arting earlier, but but uh, not but too EP. No worries, Hux. No worries. How goes it in the motherland? My eyes so big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta have the big eyes. Yeah, the Korean corn dogs. I I had them. Okay, so like I said, I'm I'm pescatarian, so I can't have the corn dogs. Uh, even though you know there are vegan hot dogs out there, <laughs> that is a thing. Um, but there's this place near my location that has like Korean corn dogs that um, instead of a hot dog, it's mozzarella cheese. And then they also douse it in like um, a hot Cheeto dust, you know? <laughs> it's, it's really good. I like it. But of course, I don't think there's a vegan version of... Because uh, it's, it's a chain that I'm talking about. It's a chain. Hi, pal. You doing? Feeling a little better? Hi, Kurikata. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling okay. I have I don't have a fever. It's just fatigue and a little bit of a sore throat So I don't know if it'll get better or worse. Hopefully it'll get better But a part of me is also like, you know being sick also means that I can just stay home and like rest because I feel like I haven't been getting enough of that <laughs> There's a mozzarella one. Yeah, exactly Mega Bronson. Yeah, we are talking. We're probably talking about the same place if it's where I think it is <laughs> I'll just say it's north. <laughs> it's north. So, yeah, I've been there before. I remember I like I uh, had time to kill, and I was in that area, and I just ate some of the Korean uh, corn dogs. But instead of a corn dog, it, instead of a hot dog, it was uh, mozzarella. I think they bred it. No, you know what? It's I'm, why am I forgetting how a corn dog works? <laughs> like, 
<laughs> so they get the mozzarella cheese and then they put it on a stick and then they put some kind of breading on it and then the breading in this case had like hot cheeto dust on it so <laughs> so basically that that's basically what i what i had oh you know what maybe we can adjust this to be more heart shaped yeah there we go it's like a it's like a diagonal heart. It's it's also like an L, but it, I like to think of it as a nice little diagonal heart. Oh, cute, cute. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Deep fried cheese. You want one of those so bad? It's really good. The only thing is, I'm pretty sure you could make like vegan corn dogs, like Korean style corn dogs, because they have vegan hot dogs. Um, they even have uh vegan doyer dogs like like the dodgers <laughs> the doyers so yeah or i guess like is it would it be called like football uh, not football baseball see being sicky is like affecting my words <laughs> but okay how's this how's this hux do you, do you think uh, there's anything that we should adjust, or, or how, how are you feeling about th Oh, you know what we can add? This. There we go. How, how are you feeling about this? Is, this? is this good? You look adorable? You are adorable, that's the thing. <laughs> it's easy when you're adorable. Would it be okay if I... Let, let's call this one done, I'm gonna save. We're gonna go back to Saku, is that okay? Let me know if there's anything you want to add, but otherwise, you're good. <laughs> A bait would be deep frying carrots and corn dog batter. Yeah, all right, cool, cool. So May Shark, I it's funny that you say that because I remember one time I, I saw this like, um, I don't know if it was a TikTok that just ended up on Twitter or something, but it was one about how to make vegan uh, um, bacon, like you know, like bacon strips that are so cooked that it's crispy. So the, there's like a way to do it, but the person used uh, really thin strips of carrot and then they just like seasoned it as if it was bacon. And then uh, me and Beans tried it and it was... <laughs> the thing is I, I already don't like carrots that much. <laughs> but I remember we tried it because I was like, oh, like as long as it's like really thin, maybe I won't like taste the, the natural carrot flavor and it'll be fine. I didn't like it that much, I'll be honest with you. I didn't like it that much, but uh, I have seen, I have seen like, um, people do like vegan bacon bits, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm sure that like, it's delicious for people who actually like carrots. And if you season it properly, it's probably like amazing. But for me, uh, because I already like, don't like carrots, I think that was also part of it, you know? But yeah, Hux. Don't, don't, uh, don't stay up too late. This shit is just seasoned carrot. That me. That's me for real, for real. Yeah, yeah, go Mimir. Have a good stream. Yeah, yeah, of course. You get some rest as well. Good luck with, uh, with the college stuff tomorrow. <laughs> and let's get one last look of cute, cute hugs. <laughs> Alright, so now we're doing Saku. She's an Aura, Aura, from, uh, from Final Fantasy 14. Yeah, of course, hugs. Get educated, exactly. Be a good little guy. <laughs> there are certain vegan recipes, though. Like, going back to the whole carrot thing, like, there are certain vegan recipes that, like, are pretty convincing, even when you know... Even when you know what it's actually made of. Like, there's a way to make tofu have the texture of chicken, and then as long as you season it properly, it's, it's pretty decent. Um, the, the main, like, the quickest, like, the spark notes... <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh no, the coughing! <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna get some water after. But, um, vegan soil and green. It's a peep. It's vegan people. Vegan soil and green is made of vegan people. Try that and always fail. So, th this is the strat. This is the strat that me and Beans have come up with. Um, we did steal it from like various other videos, but it's to freeze the tofu first freeze the tofu and then um, When you're ready to cook it uh, pop it in the microwave But try to make sure that it's in a bowl where like the water can collect underneath so like some kind of uh, uh, What's it called when you like rinse out something? Um, 
but that. <laughs> like, like, have a way so that the water can collect. And then, um, I don't know if it also works if you, like, put it in the air fryer or something. Yeah, strainer, exactly. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's, if, if it's better. If it, yeah, exactly, exactly. Thank you, guys. Um, we've only used the microwave. I don't know if it works better in an air fryer or just, like, over the stovetop. But as long as the water can collect, then you could just dump out the water and then you're left with like this very dehydrated tofu. But um, the, the tofu itself gets kind of like uh, toughened, you know, kind of kind of like chicken. So that's uh, that's like one way that we get it. But sometimes beans also goes the extra mile and just squishes out the rest of the water. Oh, how long do we microwave it for? That's oh, I don't remember. That might be a beans question, but he's in class right now. Oh, you know what? Let's add. So her hair goes in like the M, like the M shape, kind of. Yeah, that that's like one way that we've uh, we've tried it. And then um, one recipe that you could try with that is um, you know what? I need the symmetry tool. One recipe that you can try with that is vegan spam musubi. Um, we haven't quite perfected it yet. But I, I feel like there's a, you know, the there's the beginnings of a, of a good recipe there. Um, but it's, it's funny because, you know, we were talking about like carrots, like carrots and trying to make them into bacon. It's essentially the same thing, except you're trying to make tofu taste like spam. I miss spam though. <laughs> like, I'll be upfront. I really miss like eating spam. It's just the flavor that's very hard to like get get right um, and veganize, you know. How can I get her hair accurate? Maybe. <laughs> Omana knows you as the spam man. That. Is that a little? Uh, that's a bit too too much of a of an M. Yeah, it has a very specific saltiness, right? But the vegan spam musubi recipe is is basically the same as like um, any other spam musubi recipe. For anyone that doesn't know what spam musubi is, um, it's I think of it as like a spam sushi but big. So it's rice, and then you put uh, just a slice of spam over, it, and then you wrap it with uh, um, uh, seaweed seaweed. Like a big piece of seaweed. And that's it. That's really all you need. But people also add other things too, like more soy sauce or just more seasoning, uh, furikake, that kind of stuff. Um, but then the question is, how do you make vegan spam? So it's basically just tofu, but you have to season it to make it taste like spam. And part of the recipe, I don't know if I, I remember it off the top of my head. I did write it down somewhere, but uh, I do remember one of the, the ingredients is something called, uh, have you guys heard of liquid smoke? You guys heard of that? Because <laughs> before going pescatarian and before my partner, before Beans went vegan, I did not know that existed. It's really just like, it's exactly as it sounds. It's it's liquid smoke. <laughs> but I think the recipe that I had also called for, um, I only heard of it but never seen it. It's very strong. Oh, you have, oh nice, nice, nice. You have my recipe, yeah. Yeah, I remember I wrote it down in one of my bullet journals, but I don't think I, I like, it's somewhere in my drawers. <laughs> but the, I think the recipe that I gave you, Mega Bronson, is something like, you gotta get a little bit of liquid smoke. The thing with liquid smoke is that it's very uh, strong. So you, you should only add like two drops. <laughs> Otherwise it's like very overpowering. So uh, liquid smoke, um, maple syrup was part of it. Hi, Arsenic! You got the Ginata An sticker. Hello, welcome, welcome. <laughs> We're talking about vegan recipes yet again. Uh, oh yeah, you have the vegan adobo recipe. Nice, nice. Nice, you got the Mokomamon. You got the Turon sticker. Oh man, everyone's cashing in. Everyone everyone got reminded. Coffee jelly. So make sure you got coffee jelly. Matthew got, uh, I think, Turon. And then, um, I already forgot what you got. <laughs> Uh, Vega Bronson, even though it just flashed up right now. <laughs> you know what? I think I will get some water though. I love Turon. Do you guys like to walk or Turon? <laughs> I'm gonna go get some water. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I turned off the redeem to throw thing, so haha. <laughs> All right, BRB, BRB, I'm gonna get some water. Okay, I'm back. I'm back with water and an orange and a banana. <laughs> Hello, Sime. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, Kamote Q. Yo, so um, I think I mentioned it last stream, but um, there was like talks with the with my family about possibly like going to the Philippines within the coming year. It's still kind of like up in the air. Oh, you got the Buko Pandan sticker, Sime. It's still up in the air whether or not we're really going to go to the Philippines sometime soon, but um, I was trying to look up because, like I said, both my dad and partner are are vegan. I was like, how are they going to eat <laughs> in the Philippines? Um, so I was trying to find like good vegan restaurants back in the, in the, the Philippines. Um, Sorry, I wanted to like focus on the hair. Um, and then I looked up a video of just like vegan street foods, and um, I heard of Komote Q and um, was it Banana Q? But it was the first time that I realized that it's a pun on barbecue. I just never realized that. <laughs> I just never realized that that's why it's called that. We have hidden meat everywhere. Yeah, it's it's definitely like the um, like I said, every family party I go to. My aunts are like, oh, look, you can have this. There's fish in it. And I'm like, but is there meat in it? Because I can't have meat. And then they're like, oh, well, you could just eat around it. <laughs> Every time, without fail. Without fail. Mm, let me get... You know what, I think... Saku's hair should curve up like this. Like a little bit of a curve and then... Actually, that's a lot of a curve, but... Well, we'll, we'll also adjust as we need to. There we go. Haikyuu banana Q. I think Taho is vegan. I think so too. That's the only street food I can think of. Yeah, so lumpia is another one, but it, it has to be like the fresh lumpia. It's not like the... the well, I think you can also have it, um, you know, fried, but it's like the fresh one that like hasn't... Like the, the, the outer part hasn't necessarily been, been cooked. I think I have a list. Wait. I, I like took note of like a list of like Filipino foods that are, are vegan, like the street foods. Mm. Buko juice, banana Q and kamote Q, um, pan de coco. Um, oh yeah, and fruit, just fruit in general, like pineapple, watermelon, papaya, suman. 
Um, and yeah, the fresh fresh lumpia. Um, I would imagine, I would imagine, uh, wouldn't Babinka and Buko and and Kuchinta and all of the stickers isn't that also vegan? Because like it, it would just be um, oopsie. It would just be uh, like rice flour and coconut, right? But then again, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, I'm just gonna do an outline just so I can differentiate between like the, the like Saku's ponytail. And then, like, the the front part. Vivinka would have salted egg, uh, but Puto and Kuchinta, I think, are vegan safe. Nice, nice, nice. There, there's also, like, a fair amount of vegan restaurants from what I saw, but it's not in Metro Manila. <laughs> it's funny because I looked at, there's this site called uh, Happy Cow. Happy Cow is, like, a good way to, like, find vegan spots, like, especially if you're traveling. It really helped me when I was planning our um, our Tokyo trip, which we're going to be taking in like a little less than a month. Or a little more than a month, rather. Um, but it's funny because like Happy Cow, if you set it to like Metro Manila, there are no like solely vegan options. It's all like, oh, it's like this one can be vegetarian <laughs> like, if you ask them about it. But there's no restaurants that are solely vegan, you know, which like... You know, no no judgment there. But it's funny because once you change it to like Quezon City, then it's like they have like a bunch. <laughs> I don't know, it's just funny that it's like you literally just have to like move it over by like the next city over and like suddenly there's like a whole bunch. I think most of the ice and rice desserts are safe. Oh cool, cool, cool. I don't think I've ever had Suman. Yeah, that's a place that I saw, Bodhi. Bodhi. No bougie vegan places in the Philippines. Just in Metro Manila. I'm sure that there's more in like... The thing is, my mom's from Davao. I don't know if she would want to visit Davao. I feel like there might be some places there. But I just looked up Quezon City because I'm imagining that like, what if my trip is just within Manila, you know? I'm also eating oranges right now for the, the vitamin C. Okay, maybe this like spiky part is a little bit too... too much. But maybe we can have a little bit like that. Yeah, there we go. I think that's fine. There could be ones I never knew. There was, there's a bunch uh, just in Quezon City. Like, th they're all also, like, within the same block. I don't know if it's just, like, that block is just very vegan-friendly, but... <laughs> but, yeah. Have you asked Sushi May Milks about a, a PH Vesti Off collab? If people are available and local and not busy, I don't want to. I don't want to impose. You know, <laughs> I would love to to visit. It doesn't even have to be like something we stream. It could just be like we meet up, but only if you guys are are open to it. <laughs> also, that's another thing is I don't know if they're um, like May May Shark. Are you like local? Are you like in? Oh, wait, you know what? No, don't don't dox your location. Don't dox your location. <laughs> At least not in chat. I was just about to ask, like, oh, actually, like, where are you guys located? Like, where specifically, you know, like, what street? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, don't, you don't have to answer that. <laughs> but, you know, if, uh, you know, if that's a possibility, then I would like to explore it. Yeah, what barrio are you in? <laughs> don't answer, don't answer. Not sure if your tum tum can handle it. Uh, other vegan safe street food is peanut dog and boiled peanut. Wait, my my cat, my cat, Gino. Gino wants out. Give me a second.
Okay, Gino's out now. Yo, which buko tree you located at? <laughs> oh, the one with the young ano, you know, the <laughs> like, one with the birds. <laughs> New York City off collab on the way back. I've okay, I've been wanting to go back to New York City for to visit. Um, it's just that like we're we're not sure like when in the year we should go because I like. Beans also liked it, like New New York City when we visited. But the thing is, like, we already have like two vacations planned, and like we do, like you know, not to <laughs> not to brag, but we do have the means to take like multiple vacations in a year because we have like Japan in a month, and then in the summer we're gonna go to uh, Vegas for Evo, and then um, like I said, in the I'm planning in the winter fall to be. Um, uh, Philippines so like within that time like uh, like as much as I want to go to to New York we're like oh but when when <laughs> but you know if it does happen I'm gonna hit you up <laughs> I didn't mean for that to sound like a threat but <laughs> Matthew I will find you <laughs> fancy around there oh you know <laughs> near Kwan <laughs> Come at me, bro. <laughs> like, oh man. <laughs> but yeah, I think it'd be fun. It'd be fun to to do like a an off collab. Wait, but you still have to start your streamer uh, arc, though. That's the thing. <laughs> Challenge you and Beans to a hugging match. Oh my god, have you have you seen that one picture? That's like uh, it's a guy working out and he's he's doing the the workout where you like pull your arms in and he's like I'm gonna be so good at hugging <laughs> compliment the fuck out of you boy <laughs> wait let me see uh, I'm gonna be so good at hugging <laughs> yo this this song hits as the kids say Okay. Image. Here we go, this one. This is like whenever me and Beans go work out and we use this specific machine, we're always we're always quoting this. <laughs> I'm gonna be so good at hugging. <laughs> So yeah, you better you better work out, Matthew. You better <laughs> you better do this. We're we're gonna be training on our end. <laughs> okay. Um, while I was waffling about, uh, I think I got like the hair. Oh no, you know what? There's like little parts of Sokka's hair that are kind of like jutting out a little, like like this part over here. So let's see if we can figure out how to do that. Is it just a matter of doing that? Oh yeah, I think I think that's it actually. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, so here's the tricky part, is we also have to include her flower, because like that flower is like definitely a part of her design, right? And then we also have to include all the, the stuff like the aura horns. Oh wait! I don't- okay, so I don't know Final Fantasy that good. Like, are these horns like on the- like this part? Is that- that replaces her ears, right? <laughs> like, like, she doesn't- she doesn't have ears, it's these, right? The- <laughs> All right, let's try it out. Let's try it out. So, fun fact, all of these colors are essentially the same color, but just hue shifted. So I'm actually gonna do the same thing and make it blue. And you know what? We're gonna make it a little brighter too. Something like that? Yeah, something like that.
Yeah, there we go. Now, you know what? Yeah, there we go, there we go. She also has some on her hands, like this. Oh, she has a tail! She has a tail. Like FF14 dragon horns? Yeah, like, I know this, this, uh, species, right? Like, Aura? Isn't that, um... If I'm correct, that's like from Final Fantasy XIV. And aren't they like dra draconic, you know? They're kind of like dragon people. I did play Final Fantasy XIV for like a little bit. But, um... For, for very specific and personal reasons, I didn't uh, continue on with it. That's, that's not a story I'm ready to share, by the way. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, for very specific reasons I didn't continue on, but I'm, like, somewhat familiar with it. Just, just the teensy, the teensiest of bits. Oh, no, you know what? Take this color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, wait. How about this color? Oh, there we go, we're cooking. A plug type, no. <laughs> Not the plug in type. There we go. I think that's a better color for the, the horns. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Maybe a little bit um, lighter. Cause there's also like parts like inside, kind of like, kind of like that. Yeah. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Do I put eye whites for everyone? Not everyone. Yeah. Not everyone. Okay. Though, how would it look? That's the thing. How would it look? Oh, actually, I like that. Maybe... Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> the thing is, if the eyebrows go like this, it, it kind of looks very cocky, right? Especially with, like, the little grin. Wait, let me... Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> with the little grin, it looks like... It looks like, you know, an Onechan being like, Hey! <laughs> also, I'm gonna change these colors real quick. What was I talking about before I went to go get food? I feel like I was, I was like talking about a, a bunch of different things like trip to the Philippines, all that kind of stuff. Oh, um, the trip to Japan is... is coming up. And um, one of the things that me and Beans both want to do is we want to see the giant Gundam. The only thing is that the giant Gundam is going to go away forever. <laughs> Um, during our trip, actually, like, uh, it was actually supposed to shut down, like, a while back, I think, like, 2020, but then the pandemic happened, so, of course, it didn't. But now, now that it's kind of, like, run its course, um, it's going to shut down one day, and that day is, like, you know, during the course of our trip, so... <gasps> I'm really hoping that we, um, we can, we are able to, <laughs> like, to see it, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really cool, the, the, the Gundam, the giant. It's like a life-size, or, you know, like, how it's portrayed in the anime as life-sized. <laughs> oh, these oranges are so good. Saku, hello. Yes, it's you. It's you. Welcome, welcome. You came just in time. <laughs> We're pixel pixelating the oompies, and you're the oompie for today. We also did hugs earlier. You can see that right here. 
But yeah. The next thing I oh, you know what? I forgot I forgot the straps on your like that. No wait, maybe it should be another color like this. This color. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. hello Saku. How you doing today? I also realized maybe something like that. Yeah, how you, how you liking it so far, Saku? I still have to do the, the flower? The spider lily? Been a busy day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope you've been able to also get some, some good rest and relaxation in. I was just telling chat earlier that, like, I unfortunately have caught a bug. I'm a little sick, but that also means that I was able to, uh, to chill out today. Oh yeah, they did revert Dino Dance. Okay, Saku, 100% agree. I feel like... I feel like they there was... Originally, they were just gonna change Dino Dance to what it was, to like... The thing it was yesterday. And then everyone reacted like, you know, they didn't like it. <laughs> I'm on that same team, I also didn't really like it that much. And then they kind of doubled back and they were like, Oh, actually, it was just for Pokemon Day, it's not permanent, haha. <laughs> JK. And I'm like, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, sure. <laughs> you can hear it. Oh man, we pulled a Sonic. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> exactly. Let me go ahead and lower this. Cause I want to use the same. Oh, you know what? It is supposed to be a little bit darker too. Your um, I love your outfit, by the way. The like, the sweater with the the shoulders showing. That's such a vibe. Is that too dark, though? <laughs> Thank you, I had no choice in it. <laughs> what do you mean? How did you- How did you- Actually, this is a good opportunity to ask if you're uh, down to share. Um, yeah, like, how did your design come about? Because I know that, like, it's... It, it, am I correct in assuming it's mostly from your Final Fantasy XIV character? But then did you kind of, like, add certain things uh, to that design? I don't care if I ever mentioned that. Yeah, share. Share the lore. The Saku lore. While I adjust these colors real quick. Yeah, there we go. My friend threw a model at me and I saw it at like 4 a.m. on a work day. Ah, okay. I literally had no choice. I was PNG of my ex. Ah, prior. Ah, okay, okay. Well, it's a really nice design because like for one you have like the the just like looking at the design itself i know that this was art made by was it speaks cute <laughs> so if we just look at the design i'm not much of like a character designer slash fashion designer at all but just like talking about things that i i enjoy like from an art perspective is like for one for the most part your um the colors are all very kind of dark and desaturated but there's like there's places where there's a little bit more saturation to give it some pop so for example the eyes i know that like auras don't they have that like eye circle or something like they have like a little circle in their eyes there's that and then there's the um there's the red spider lily so for one the 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 desaturated dark colors kind of unify it but then you have that little bit of pop like otherwise and even your hair is also a little bit more saturated than the rest of the outfit, so there's that. So you can think, oh yeah, that's right, you have a friend named Beans, yeah, yeah, yeah. But for the art, I got speak to to change the shoes and the shorts. I like that, because you, then you have the Zetai Ryoiki, right? <laughs> the, uh, the boundary, right? <laughs> 
Because that's cute, you got the stockings and you got the shorts, it's a look. And then what I like is this detail, the um, the lace. It's very cute. It's also like, it's, it's also an outfit that kind of makes sense. Like you could see someone wearing this, IRL. <laughs> Limbo ring, that's what it's called. Ah, ah, ah. Actually before I get into the, the spider lily. Because it might be hard to show it via um, via pixels, but I'm going to do the tail. Let's do the tail. So it's spiked at the end. Let's do the curve, curve shape tool. And the tail's going to be a little bit up, if that's okay. Actually, maybe not all the way like on the floor. Yeah, my 3D model uh, has it, but she wears like cut-off jeans. Ah, kind of like a cat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cat. Schnackery's right next to me. Ah! <laughs> Schnackery's right next to me uh, sleeping right now. I do think of like how cats, they kind of like broadcast their mood via their tail. Oh, you know what? Yeah, there should be a little bit more. So let me, let me actually erase that. There you go. How about this actually? Let's move this a little bit closer. There you go, and then there should be little parts that come out. It's just hard to show that with so little pixels, but let's 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 try and see. So there's like a VTuber me with Laura I haven't revealed yet, but there's also 14 me and Lauren 14 me would uh, be half Aura, half Mikote. Oh, nice! I might do a stream of it, but I don't think uh, many of my Kikurumis are actually for my ooh 14 content. You never know, you never know. I feel like you have a, a pretty good following, right? Because uh, you do do like Final Fantasy XIV content in addition to uh, your work streams, in addition to like other content. Like I know you did the, the Phasma one a while back. Okay, let me see, does that read correctly? We'll do like that. So it kind of looks triangular, right? But. I think that might be as much detail as we can show with so little pixels. There we go. And plus, I feel like lots of people who follow VTubers are always down for the lore. Phasma was great, never again, I guess, <laughs> unless they want a challenge point thing, yeah. It's funny, uh, Phasma was one of those games that I played um, when I first started streaming, but not as Babinka Bear. Like, I had a very short streaming stint in 2020 as my flesh self. <laughs> there we go, get some breathing room in there. Maybe erase- yeah, there we go, we need like a good silhouette. Yeah, I, I played a little bit of Phasmo um, with a friend of mine, um, and it was it was enjoyable. It, it's just that um, Beans doesn't like Phasmo at all because because the the game that we played, I think it glitched. We were for one, we did a lot of rookie mistakes, so um, we were on the biggest map. We were on like the biggest map, and I think it glitched because a ghost just never showed up. And I think we waited like 20 minutes for something to happen and just nothing happened. So that was like, I think Beans' very first experience with Phasma with our friend. 
and like you just hated it and i think like we tried a smaller map and it, it went off a little bit better but i think that first experience just made him like be like nah i don't i'm okay <laughs> like i don't want to i want to play this <laughs> so i thought it was fine though zomboid that's a maybe so i did write down a, a list of um uh i'm gonna take a little orange break right now eating my orange I did write a list of video games that I do want to play eventually and watching other people's streams have kind of inspired me because like Akashi was playing this like old school type game yesterday it made me want to play some like old ass games. Mm. But some other games I have on the list are <clears throat> uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask more Digimon, but specifically maybe Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Project Zomboid's on there. Um, and then there's a couple ones that are like a bit old, but I have an emulator. So uh, have you guys heard of Tronbon by any chance? It's like it's like a, an offshoot kind of. <laughs> it's kind of like an offshoot to, uh, to I want to say Mega Man. It's with the little servo bots. Hey, Beeple Bees. Hello, hello. We're pixelating the oompies today. Oh, you got the Mahablanca sticker. Nice, nice, nice. You started with no voice over, no, da, 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 no voice over, no PNG 14 stuff. Yeah, I think so. Like, any kind of like beginner, like when it comes to like starting out with streaming, as long as it's something that you're super passionate about and are able to like just talk about it for hours on end that's such a good way to start streaming right because for me i started as babinka bear at least i i started with art streams so with you in final fantasy 14 i feel like there's so much that you could talk about there's so much that you could like elaborate on and then that that gives the audience a reason to like stick around because it's like oh this like this gal knows her stuff you know um, what happened to all the redeems so i turned off most of them because i'm feeling a little low energy today a little sick um, so, you know, I just wanted to kind of keep it simple today. No, uh, because <laughs> if you guys were to throw something at me, I, I would most likely have to react, right? I have to be like, hey, wait, what's the big idea, you know? But <laughs> I want to keep it as chill as I can today. The character Tron Bond? Yeah, so there's a, there's a game. Uh, did you ever play it, Saka? It's called The Misadventures of Tron Bond. I want to say it's for the PS1. It was, it was pretty good from what I remember, but I think... The part that I liked the most was um, you got to train little serve bots to do different things. And I don't know, there was just something entertaining. There was something like um, it, it gave you a nice little dopamine rush to, <laughs> to like train them and like give them little tasks to do. I'm just gonna add the. <clears throat> gonna add some highlights. There we go. Where to add here? Maybe just here? There you go. I just like the design figures were given to me. Ah, I see. So yeah, the the misadventures of Tron Bon, like, um, you actually play as the villain. <laughs> you play as Tron Bon. And I think she has this whole mission to just kind of like spread terror. It's it's one of those games where like she's not like seriously a villain, but she's like, I guess, an anti hero of sorts. But it's a it's a nice fun romp, you know? <laughs> Trying to see other places I can kind of like refine this before I take a stab at the at the the spider lily. Oh, you know what? Let's add some highlights. I'll keep it to that. There you go. I 
All right, let's take a stab at that spider lily, shall we? <laughs> um, but yeah, so those are some of the games that I've been thinking of. Oh, another one is Fate Go. I managed to move my Fate Go account to my iPad. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I love the emotes that, that Hux made for you, by the way. Hux was here earlier. That's why we, we drew his uh, his bald, uh, you know, Sona. <laughs> Actually, if I if I do the shadows down here, it's like the it's kind of like the yandere. Like <laughs> but we also want to put the like this expression into it, right? The little guy, exactly, exactly. Okay, I've been stalling for too long. Let's let's take a stab at the spider lily. That works for you. Let's do it. Got the. Du -du 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 -du. <laughs> That's how you got Aura. <laughs> Just gotta pull the the Higurashi. The <laughs> okay, so the tell me how you feel about this, uh, Saku. In Higurashi, which characters are Yandere? Would you say? <laughs> Because I remember it being a whole thing of, uh, like, technically, Shion is the only Yandere in that show. Because everyone else is, like, more Yangire. Like, they're not necessarily doing it out of love, but out of, like, for other reasons, like, delusion. <laughs> like, you're so right, Saku. So Satoko, especially in the, um, in Higurashi Go and Sotsu, you're so right. <laughs> Man, I freaking, I, I I kind of love. Have you have you seen that like Twitter thread that's like, um, what series do you actually like and do you consider actually good without people in your ear telling you that it's bad? And for me, it's totally Higurashi Go and Higurashi Sotsu. <laughs> Cause like unironically, I really like the series, and I did see a lot of like. Um, not a lot, but I did see like a few video essays here and there saying that like, you know, it was like it, it kind of like ruined some like character arcs and characterizations, but I'm a freaking sucker for <laughs> for like Yandere, like evil ass side plots. Or not side plots, but you know what I mean, right? I feel like we're kindred spirits in that regard, right? That like I just wanna hear some I, I just want to see some anime girls go freaking crazy. <laughs> I think that's why I watched. I, that's why I watched Higurashi in the first place. <laughs> you know what? You know what? This is kind of working. This like this like uh, checkerboard pattern with the cross in the middle. This is kind of working. So many people were salty, but it was great. It's literally a show about different shards, time loops, anything is possible. Exactly! That's why, like, the spin-offs are always so fun, right? I I never- I don't know if I actually watched it in its entirety, but did you see the one where, um... Rika... <laughs> actually... <laughs> the way she gets into it is pretty funny, but it's the one where she, like, is biking with Satoko, and then she gets into a car accident, and then, like... That transports her to a world where, like... Everyone just freaking hates her, right? Like, it's the one where, like, Satoko bullies the hell out of her. And there's that, like, infamous scene of, like, Rika beating her with the chair. <laughs> and I know I shouldn't be laughing about it, but it's it's kind of funny. <laughs> like, it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Is it Rei? Is that Higurashi Rei? Like, not gonna lie, that shit was pretty funny. <laughs> Especially because, like, that universe of Satoko kind of had it coming, right? <laughs> Actually, I think I, I kind of like that, like, this kind of design. I don't know, let me know what you think, Saku, if you want me to, like, do something different with the flower, but I, I'm kind of digging it. The baseball bat slam on the rooftops is my favorite. Yeah, that was a good way to end the first season, in my opinion. Cute, you like it? Yay. <laughs> yeah, let me know if there's anything that you want me to adjust, because I think we're pretty much almost done. 
Unless there's anything that I forgot. Let's see, I'm just checking. I got I got like kind of like the the parts of like the aura horns and the parts on the face. Yeah, of course, of course. Maybe, maybe like that. I'm trying to get the one on the nose too, but I feel like it would uh, it would distract from the from the mouth. So we might just leave it like that. Yeah. I had no idea what anime you guys were talking about until I heard that chair scene. Yeah, so it's it's a uh, Higurashi no Nakakoro ni. Also, uh, it's translated as like when the cicadas cry. And uh, I feel like I definitely got into it because I saw like kind of the gory like stuff <laughs> and me as like a young edgelord was like yeah i want to find out why the hell that girl is content warning for violence stabbing herself you know <laughs> so i ended up watching it and then like you know i came for the violence and the gore as an edgy person but i stayed for like the legitimately good story because like it's it's actually like a really good story too and then after um, yeah, actually, I think we're- let me- let me save. We're good with Sakus. We also got Huxus, so we have one more for tonight, so it's not too short of a stream. And that is... There we go, there's Zako. Zako VT. He was in here earlier, but... I don't know if, uh, if they still are. <laughs> but yeah, Higurashi... Man. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for letting me, uh... Pixelate ya, Saku. I think Hux went to sleep already, but let's go ahead and do Zako's and then we'll we'll call it there. He's Are they like a walnut? <laughs> like I know that there's like a Gundam thing going on. I should have I should have asked them when they were in here earlier. But like doesn't that kinda look like a, a nut? <laughs> Oh yeah, and because of Higurashi, going back to that that whole discussion, um, because of Higurashi, I got into Umineko, which is made by the same person. So, the the series that I'm talking about is called Umineko no Nakukoro ni, when the seagulls cry. If you've never heard of it, it's because it does have an anime, but the anime is kind of mm, <laughs> like the anime is kind of not great. The adaptation kind of kind of sucks. Hmm, actually I'm looking at how- how am I gonna do this? Speaking of Umineko, I'm watching the episode 3 Oh, cool! I've been seeing, uh, Twitter posts about the stage play. How does one- how does one, like, see that? Like, are, are you seeing it live? Or are you, um, is there like a website with subtitles? Or are you just kind of watching it, like, without the translation? Oh, it's an archive. Wait, let me fix the... By the way, I don't know if uh, CMA is still in here, but I, I downloaded Pure Ref. I, I like it a lot so far. That's actually what I'm using here. For those who don't know, this program is called like Pure Ref, and it, it's literally just a program. Hi, Sima. Yeah, was it you who recommended this program? It's really useful. It's just a program for like, uh, like I think Sima dropped it in the in the, the Bibinka Court, and it's literally just for references. But like, I don't know. It's it's so simple, but it's so useful because you could just paste your images in here. You can move around. You can zoom in. It's simple, but effective. So thank you. Just want to say thank you for that. You can like in the Discord. Thank you. Thank you, Saku. I, I saw some pictures. I think the cast pictures are really cute. And I never thought of it, but I... Um, yeah, it makes sense that... Um, that Umi Neko would make sense as like a stage play. Are you talking about Pure Ref? Like this this program? Um, so 
Look it up on Google, and uh, I am gonna give you a tip though, so it's not just like, oh, look it up. Um, look it up. There is a site where you can download it, and it's gonna say that, oh, like you you need to pay fifteen bucks to get this. You actually don't. <laughs> so it's it's more of like a suggestion, uh, a suggested like price for it. There's a way to. Um, I think you just like put in like custom. There's a place where you can put like custom price, and if you just put zero, you can download it for free. Like, I don't think they require you to actually, like, pay money for it. The costuming is perfection, and the, the fact that uh, they're doing the whole magic uh, human things and seeing creative ways to execute things is fantastic. Yeah! I saw um, a picture of the stakes, right? The, the um, like, what are the names? Like, Lucifer, Beelzebub, all of them, with their sword thingy, and it looked pretty cool. And it's like, ah, I see, that's how they're doing it. Okay, let's do this. It's feeling like that. Actually, it should be a little bit desaturated. I'm trying to match, like, that walnut color. That, that is a walnut, right? <laughs> Nut. Yeah, the seven stakes of purgatory, exactly. The camera angles and things for stuff if you know the story is chef's kiss. Oh man. Like a museum. Wait, are you talking about the pricing thing? <laughs> I should also toss in the character song. Cutest song about murder anyone will ever hear by- Oh, cool. You know what? Let's change up our, our soundtrack for this last pixel art. Let's listen to Umineko music. I miss Umineko. I wish I could, like, read it again for the first time. the pink eyes. Oh man, this like brings me back. <laughs> you guys you guys have to read. If you haven't already you guys you guys have to read Umineko. <laughs> hmm maybe we can go wider. There you go. Yeah, World and Dominator. I think my favorite though. What's the plot about? Okay, um, so for Umi Neko no Nakukoro ni, the title is uh, When the Seagulls Cry. The song slaps, it's called World and Dominator. If you look right underneath my uh, overhead projector, I have the the Spotify titles as they as they go. So um, it's called "When the Seagulls Cry" because it's basically a murder mystery. Um, there's this rich ass family. They're called the Ushiromiyas, and uh, every year they have a family reunion. <gasps> Zako, hello. Whoa! Speak of the devil. Speak of the Zako, and he shall appear. Thanks for the raid. We're pixelating you. <laughs> but I'm also talking about uh, one of my favorite visual novels. So I'm taking a... I guessed IBS during family dinner, Zako. <laughs> not the poop, not the... not the... the IBS. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <clears throat> did, did I... did I misgender? Did I... <laughs> Wait, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? 
That happened in episode 2 of Umino. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yes. If you if you have like actual concept art. Go ahead and put it in Sorry, I'm trying to find the If you go to Creative Bibing Cubs. Oh, you got the coffee jelly sticker. Nice, nice. Uh, if you go to Creative Bibing Cubs, Zako, there's a thread called Pixel Art Portraits. You can either drop that there or you could just DM me. Either is fine. But yeah, if I accidentally misgendered, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Um, we're talking about Umi Neko no Nakukoro ni. It's a, a visual novel. Um, the plot is, it's basically a murder mystery and there's this rich family called the Ushiro Miyas that uh, once a year they have a, um, a family reunion and it takes place on an island, on a secluded island called Rokenjima. Um, so the story revolves around them going to this island but then there's a storm. So, um, due to the storm, no one can leave, right? It's like a closed, it's a closed door, so to speak, which is a theme that comes up occasionally. Um, and then suddenly, murders start happening. <laughs> like I said, it's a murder mystery. Um, and it's very much related to, like, there's this story, there's this myth on the island about a golden witch. So, you know, the general belief is that, like, oh, the witch is the one who, uh, who did the murders, obviously. Um, however, the family is also like a family of like, like all of them are pretty like smart and talented in their own way. So um, one of the main characters, Battler, um, his name is Battler. <laughs> like, he, uh, I don't know, he sees these murders happening. He he can't accept that. Uh, he can't accept that like, you know, it's it's like witchcraft that is causing these murders, right? However, the only people on the island are his family members and like and their servants because they're, they're a rich ass family. <laughs> family reunion on a secluded island. What could possibly go wrong? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, Badler Ushiromiya is like Phoenix Wright. Exactly. Um, so the thing is, like, he can't accept that it's a mad like that a witch, like a fictional witch, had caused these murders. And yet, the alternative is that someone in your family committed these murders. So then it becomes this whole thing of like, is it magic or is it a like, or is it mystery? That that's like one of the the overarching themes: magic or mystery. Um, and they play with it in in many different ways because like, um, it, it gets kind of surreal because like it it starts out pretty straightforward where like without saying too many spoilers, like murders happen and then at the very end like. Um, I'm trying to think of like how to say this without too many spoilers, but like big yeah, it's very much a big who done it. If he sent oh yeah, let me see, let me see. Cool. Cool cool cool. This is very so it's it's like correct me if I'm wrong, Zako, it's a uh, it's very uh Gundam inspired, right? <laughs> Let me copy and I'm gonna I'm gonna paste it here into pure ref. There we go. Oh cool. Dot on helmet, camera scanner, breathing tubes that connect to the helmet, under jumpsuit, unit number. Oh, cool cool. Overdress, wire guided fist with fingertip beam cannons. That's sick. That's so sick. Oh my god, it's like it reminds me of like at guy. <laughs> well, I'm sure that there's others, right? There's other mobile suits with that. Stomach beam cannon, disposable legs. Ooh. I asked this about, um, I asked this from Sok Saku earlier, because I also did, um, Art of Saku and then Hux. But, uh, if you don't mind sharing, what's, uh, what's your lore, so to speak? Like, what's, uh, what, how did your model come about? Yes, exactly as Saku said. You have uncovering a, so going back to Umineko, you have uncovering a lot of family stuff, but also trying to survive. Good reads, banging music, hot moms, <laughs> question mark profit. <laughs> exactly, exactly. 
I, I want to say that's like the broad strokes of the story. Like, without spoiling too much, that's the broad strokes. It's a mystery, but then magic does come into play, but it does it does try to make you question whether or not it's like magic happening. Like, you'll you'll see like I don't know, like impossible things. Like in the in the storyline, there's like these goat butlers. Who are basically just imagine like men in suits but instead of human heads they have goat heads and then they do stuff like they have like energy beams and stuff so like you as the reader are like um okay so what the hell is the explanation for this because <laughs> like you know it could easily just be people in masks right like that's that's like the easy answer but then like wh what's up with the energy beam swords how does that get into like this being a murder mystery because then it's like oh are my family members really being killed through beam swords or are they getting killed through like other means Laura's an eldritch god with a mainstream religion and rules through mass-produced self uh, but currently trapped in a model toy made by a church by accident that's so sick yes Matthew there's hot moms like every you know what <laughs> give me a second so umineko moms Words are attacks literally exactly. The only difference between real bodies is the number and colors. Oh, that's really good lore. I like that. I I'm biased, you know, because you know me. I, I like stuff when it comes to like religious studies and all that kind of stuff. Let's see if I can find a good picture of the, the four moms. Actually, yeah, let me. I'm gonna get you guys the family tree, the Ushiro Mia family tree, and then the picture of the moms. Ding, ding, ding. So, in that regard, since we're talking about Umineko Zako, keep on. Uh, I do wanna hear about the, the lore, so go ahead and uh, keep adding, and I'm just gonna add some images, and then we're gonna get back to pixels. Thank you for following, Lime VT. Nice to have you here. Feel free to chill. Uh, and since you're new here, we do have a one point redeem where you can get a free scratch and sniff a sticker. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Right now, we're doing pixel art um, of some friends, but I'm doing a, a slight tangent to talk about one of my favorite visual novels, Umineko. So, um, here's the family tree. So, you have your. Um, in the top left is the the patriarch. He's like the grandpa. <gasps> you guys got your stickers. Nice, nice. You must go. Goodbye, Matthew. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. Dianorki got your sticker. Same with Lime VT. Very nice. All the stickers are based off of uh, you know Filipino sweets. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. Um, so yeah, we have the, the grandpa in the top left, and then he has four kids. Um, the first family... Uh, I'm not gonna go over each and every character, but like... But basically, like, there's four kids who are all, like, in line to receive an inheritance. And then each of them has a spouse right next to them. Except for the youngest child, she... She doesn't have a spouse, but she has a child. And then you have four cousins at the very end of each line who are also kind of in line for an inheritance. So that kind of also spices things up with like, you know, a rich family, a uh, murder mystery secluded on an island. A lot of it is also kind of motivated by money and inheritances. And then the bottom row is all like servants, the servants of the, the family. And then the one guy with the mustache, um, I, I, don't, I don't think you can see my mouse. So that's why I'm like <laughs> trying to use direction. So. The, the guy with the mustache that's a little chubby, that's Nanjo the doctor. So these are all of the people on the island. Um, so it's like, who committed the murders? Is it, is it you know, your aunt or is it one of the servants? Um, and then the hot moms. Let's just go over to the hot moms. Oh, it's a little small, but... You have Natsuhi in the top left, who's like kind of the... She's like the kind of the stricter mother, but she, she has like a soft side. She has a very soft and tender side to her. She like has a lot of pride in the family. Um, top right is Ava, 
who's like the eldest daughter of the family and like she she knows kung fu but she's also a bit of a tiger mom um uh, but she's also very like smart and shrewd um bottom left is rosa she's the youngest daughter and she's kind of like um i don't know how to really describe her other than she gets mad very easily and like she also has like you know she also loves she she has a child she loves that child but like she also has like she definitely got like some anger issues <laughs> like a lot of people in this in this visual novel have like some kind of issue but she got some anger issues um but banana you got a taho sticker nice nice thanks for stopping by uh and then bottom right is kirie kiri kiri kirie <laughs> she's um she's not part of the ushiro mio family but she married into it and she's probably like the the smartest of of all of them like they're all really smart but she's like definitely one of the shrewdest and the smartest and she's like uh i don't know she's uh I, that that's kind of like her main character thing um she's she's just very intelligent but um yeah i'm gonna leave it at that <laughs> i'm gonna leave it at that <laughs> so those are the hot single moms in your they're not single but those are the hot moms in your area so let's let's go ahead and talk about zako's lore though But yeah, so Baba Nana, we were just talking about my favorite um, visual novel, Umineko. <clears throat> Excuse me. But now we're going to talk about Zako, who we're pixelating now on screen. And his lore. Let me, let me scroll up. So let's start again. Uh, an eldritch god with a mainstream religion, so, so kind of like Cthulhu, <laughs> rules uh, through a mass-produced self, but currently trapped in a model toy made by uh, the church by accident. That's the eighth body. Oh, that's why there's an eight on there. Okay. The only difference between real bodies and number is number and colors. It's like a hive mind. Each body is an individual, but they all share data, kind of like a god from a machine trope, but reversed. Uh, Zako exists mimetically. I exist when perceived or thought of. Oh my god, you're like the... Are you like the... Um, excuse me, the basilisk? Like an actual eldritch god? If you played here in Fear and Hunger, here in Funger. <laughs> if you played Fear and Hunger, or uh, Who is Lila, it exists like that. Ah, there are no single hot moms in your area. Oh, no. That's all the lore. If you can think of a scenario, it's canon to one of the bodies. Anything, not he, him. Ah, okay, okay, cool. Cool. Sorry about that. So, yeah. So, anything but he, him. So, yeah. We got, we got she, her over here. They, them. Nice lore. It is really nice lore because, yeah, so... I think it's really interesting the idea of like clones or like not necessarily clones but like a hive mind kind of operating independently of one another. And I kind of like is the eight is that a reference to like eighth MS team? All lore is canon. <laughs> there you go. Or did you did you have a specific reason why you picked? A, I'm gonna try and pick out some colors now. This is like a very pale purplish ah uh, you know what this your helmet makes it like really convenient for me to just go around the head shape like this It's a reference to Voltus 5. Oh my god, my dad used to watch that as a kid. Or at least like I guess like if if there's like alternate versions, like he he watched like a super old old version. Got to stop holding up Umineko watching. Thank you again. Have a great rest of the stream. Thank you, Saku. Thank you for for uh, sharing your awesome model and letting me uh, pixelate you. So thank you, thank you. Have a good uh, Umineko watch session. Since 8 upside down in, in Japanese is a B. Ah, nice. I'm digging the lore, I'm gonna tell you that much. <laughs> Let's go ahead and fill, fill, fill. I like the helmet. Let's do a slightly darker. 
color just just for the outline just so that we can differentiate like there's a part on your helmet that like is kind of separated making character lore is it is fun it is fun did i tell you guys that um i never really like had ocs or anything like that up until like um for any of you who are tempest fans you remember like when everyone was making tempest sonas I don't know why, I just never, like, ended up making a lot of, like, OCs. <gasps> oh, hello! Sushi! Sushi, hello, hello! <laughs> Hi, everyone! Wait, hold on, let's, uh, let's turn on the lights. <laughs> Archaic Bro, thanks for the follow! Okay, wait, let me, let's turn, turn off the music. Hello, welcome everyone. I'm Babinka Bear, artist, historian, art historian, and Sun Bear PNG tuber. Wait, my my projector's in the way. <laughs> there we go. Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm a Sun Bear PNG tuber, and today we are we're just pixelating. We're we're making pixel art of some friends. So we we have a pretty good collection going on so far. Got a variety of folks. I think we even have Sushi herself over here next to Akashi. So yeah, today we were working on Saku, Sakura Mikage, Hux, and now we're doing Zako, Zako VT. So hello, everyone. Uh, let me say hello. Let me say hello. Oh, there's so much happening. Okay, so let me say hello to Archaic Bro. Hello, hello. And who else? Space Chaser. Hi, hi. Oh my god, the screen, it's flooding. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> hello and then archaic bro oh akashi hello hello arsenic thank you for the follow archaic hello space chaser thank you for the follow space chaser daedric list you miss overhead projectors i'm gonna i'll put it back i'll put it back <laughs> one zaka could be jesus christ incarnate another could be oh and uh, zaka was also sharing some lore about about themselves so very cool Projector just like in school, exactly. I'm a, yeah, I'm a sun bear. I'm a sun bear. You guys, let me put away the projector. Look, I got the big old claws. <laughs> so uh, this stream is gonna be a little low energy because I am feeling a little sicky. Um, but I also just like chatting with you all. So uh, yeah, feel free to to stay stay in, uh, stay tuned. I can't words. <laughs> feel free to to just stay and chill if you want um sushi since you just uh since you just streamed if you're feeling hungry or, or you need to get some rest feel free to do that um but thank you for the raid oh i forgot to give you a shout out oh my god wait i gotta catch up on things uh same actually for some reason it took me until very recently to start making ocs yeah 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 uh Ham Tyro, that's a cute name, cute little guys. Archaic, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, oh my gosh. So you got Prism Rose, you got HDTQW, you got Aura, Akashi, you got L, May Shark, Nanda Delta, you got El Ringo, Teal Emil, and Verdandi, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, of course we're friends, Zako, of course, of course. Let's go, big ups. <laughs> Flood of Bears, oh my gosh. Thank you for the follow, soy soy tofu. I love tofu. <laughs> and Hem Tyro, thank you, thank you. Hello, blinded eye. Overhead projector is my school nightmare. I'm both a machine and a biological being, and all is canon. Uh, I'll never forget the teacher's writing in wet erase. Yeah, I wanna I wanna see if I can like program that in. Actually, before we get back into before we get back into uh, pixel art, just want to show off some of the art. Well, not just this art. But art from my students, from my Bibing Cubs. If you guys are joining in, you are now a Bibing Cub. You're now part of the class. Uh, we also have a tradition at the end of each stream where we do a little mosh pit. We do a little graded mosh pit. So if you guys want to stick around for that, you're fully welcome to. They call me Flesh Skin. You see, I'm made of both flesh and skin. Oh, man. <laughs> the bear. Cute, cute. Yeah. You guys are cute. So, yeah. Here's some art of me but more importantly here's some art by the Bibin cubs so if you guys ever uh make any art you know feel free to share it and it'll be up here on the bulletin board all right so yeah yeah, yeah. thanks for stopping by everyone and then let me give a shout out to sushi shorts 
There you go. No game. Oh, man. What were you doing? What were you doing? The word's just like school, too. Yeah. 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 See, the it even has like the little wavy thingies for the border, right? So, yeah. 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 But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your time here. When I'm not hella drunk, I can help with the projector thing. Yeah, okay, I want to figure out how to do assets like that. I want to I wanna figure out how people, you know, like that one guy, uh, Shindigs? They showcase a whole bunch of different VTubers that can do really cool stuff with their assets. I want to do stuff, but like in a classroom, you know? But for now, let's go ahead and get the lights. And then uh, let's continue the music. So she's just like me for real, for real, no game. <laughs> Mega front. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and start the music back up. We'll go ahead and continue with our, our favorite eldritch being. <laughs> if you guys missed the lore for, for Zako, they are an eldritch being, but they're they're in the body of a toy made by the church. Did I get that right? But their design is very uh, I don't know, very Gundam, you know, Gundam-like, <laughs> Gundam-coded, if you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it, I like it. Uh, we need a little bit of black. This is so cool. Like the the helmet design. And this is actually like really fun to try and translate in, in like pixel pixel form. Do you want your eyes to be bigger or do you is or smaller like that? Now you know what? I feel like bigger. My instance is in a toy, oh man. Yeah, that's really good lore, so. Um, but Sushi, how, how, how did your stream go? Like I said, if you have to raid and run, that's completely fine. I think it was a, it was a work Zatsu, right? I actually used to do 16-bit sprites. <gasps> cool! Okay, so like, the way that I kind of got my start with, like, pixel art was with, um, Animal Crossing. <laughs> we did some work, then toured the Rancord! Okay. A Rancord server. Oh, like the different channels in there? Were people being say so <laughs> while, while you were touring it? Or were they intentionally putting strange things in there? Oh, that's what you mean, the Minecraft server. Oh, okay, okay. I haven't played Minecraft in a minute, even though I do want to. But I don't. I don't know. I feel like I'm very indecisive when it comes to Minecraft. I'm like, oh, I want to build like a house, or now I want to build a, a, a Baha'i Kubo style house. It's so big? Oh man, I'm gonna- Oh wait, you don't have your- Do you have your VODs turned on for the for that one? A Rancord tour would be distressed. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I thought when I heard like Rancord tour. I was like, oh man, that's gonna be chaotic, but... <laughs> but if anyone could make it work, it would be Sushi. I never had VODs on- No! Okay. I will figure out a way to, um... To one day hop onto the Rancord uh, Minecraft server. Oh, this is cool. It's like a diamond shape, but then you also have like the triangular parts too. Let's do this. Oh, cool, cool, cool. You know what? It's the eyes and the jewel kind of look like they should be the same color, right? Your Twitch account uh, saves the VODs, you just gotta publish them. I think, because I, I, I feel like I've heard a lot of stories of people being like, oh, I forgot to turn it, like, especially if they're like a first time streamer. Not that uh, Sushi is, but like, if you just have it turned off, then there's no guarantee that it'll always be saved. But, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you know what? Actually, this, this should be like this. And this. There you go. It deletes after two months. For mine, it uh, deletes after two weeks. I think. I have to check. I have to check. 
But I think, Zaka, you've, I think you've been streaming longer than... How long have you been streaming? Because it seems like you seem like very well experienced and seasoned. <laughs> Freshly seasoned Zako. Other than that, if you upload as a highlight, it's safe forever. Oh yeah, I do have... <laughs> I do have one highlight, I think. Oh no, I have a few, I have a few. Gotta save some VODs as myself or in general. Oh, that is a good question. Um, as yourself, as Zako, right? Because as Bibinka, I've only been streaming for... Oh, it's gonna be six months soon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I, I mentioned it before, but I did have a brief stint back in 2020. Actually, yeah, that, this, this works as well. Okay. Okay, now for these cool parts over here. It's kind of like a lime green. Oh, since 2020 as well? Nice. You know what? It needs to be a little bit more yellow. You remember those streams? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Necro Dancer? Oh, no. This is from uh, a visual novel called uh, Umi Neko no Nakukoro ni. I was just uh, raving about it earlier. Not real raving, you know, but <laughs> I was just talking about how much I love it. It's a visual novel. It's a, It has murder mysteries and magic and all sorts of stuff like that. So I would 100% recommend it. No, no worries, Space Chaser, no worries. Um, you know, the, the style is probably very similar, you know? And I just happened to be playing it because uh, earlier we had Sakura Mikage in here. We were talking about how much we love the series. <laughs> In general, since oh, Nico Nico and Two Chan, whoa, nice, nice. Did a short stint as a mascot. Yo, that's cool. Uminako has badass motherfucking music for the most unhinged thing. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Archaic, bro, fellow Uminako enjoyer. Do you, do you happen to know off the top of your head what your favorite, like, unhinged thing from Uminako is? Because <laughs> immediately when you said that, I thought about um. I thought about Kraus uh, boxing the goats, but I feel like there's way more like unhinged parts too. <laughs> Made bank with that before I got retired. Oh man, Nico Nico's always been interesting. I actually used to frequent Nico Nico back in the day um, for oh this is gonna be kind of cringe, but for Hitalia animation videos. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I can't face away from that part of my past, but, you know. <laughs> I mean, it is the reason why I'm a historian, though. <laughs> I fucking knew it! <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Am I- is it that obvious that, like, my- my Fujoshi energy? Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, Hitalia. Dinner scene? Wait, which dinner scene? That's all you mentioned, Bones fucking crack. Fujoshi. <laughs> I was in Homestuck before Hitalia poisoned. I was also in Homestuck. <laughs> oh my god, but the wild thing was being in both those fandoms at the same time and pretending. pretending either one was any better than the other, to be honest. <laughs> It'd be like, oh, like, yeah, we, we do re weird troll stuff like spitting in buckets and Sharpie dyeing ourselves. But at least we don't have, like, literal Nazi cosplayers. And then Hitalia cosplayers would be like, well, at least we don't spit in buckets and Sharpie dye ourselves. <laughs> I, I don't know, the 2010s were a wild time. <laughs> Especially if you, like, went to cons and stuff. What a, what a time to be alive. <laughs> There's revival in Sea after the Sea Boys finally. Yeah! Oh my god, that was the dream back then. Like, you know, because I'm I'm Filipino too, so for, for those who <laughs> for those who are joining for the first time, I'm I'm Filipino American. And um I remember like <laughs> there was like a sketch of Vietnam back in the day. Uh the Hitalia character of Vietnam and everyone was like, Oh my god, is it the Philippines? And it's like, no. <laughs> It's Vietnam, like it obvious it quite obviously looks like her, but I don't know. It was like it was a a bit of delusion as a treat, you know? 
history teacher in it. Yeah, so when I say my, my intro that I'm a artist historian, art historian, I do work in education. I work in museum education. So I have kind of all those kind of wrapped into my, my, my job, so to speak. So um, Hitalia, like for all of its faults, did get me like a little, it, it helped me understand history a little bit better because you could anthropom anthropomorph anthropomorphize Anthrop <laughs> I can't believe the caption caught that, but <laughs> but yeah, um, it, it helped me understand it better because of that. So you know, for all its faults, at least there's that, right? <laughs> oh, let's get the the cool metal arms. We had this talk before. It got bad when you motherfuckers arrived. <laughs> what? <laughs> before that, it was serial. I also love serial experiments, Lane. Got those Indonesia's huge tract of land. God, I remember that period. You got this, I believe in you. The country- I do remember the country orbs. I do remember that. Because it was the same time as Italia. <laughs> and people would kind of try to, to mix it together, right? Uh, okay, so the metal parts. It's kind of like, it's gray, but also a little bit red, like here. I'm trying to like. I always, I always reference Milky with this, but like, uh, she always gave this tip of like, try not to color pick. So I'm just trying to like eyeball the color. Uh, more desaturated. Like that, maybe. A little darker, a little darker. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hitalia walks so that country humans could fall flat on its face. <laughs> Truly, our souls are blighted and it vexes me so. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Oh my gosh, wait, I love... <laughs> this is such a design, like... Like, I love this design choice here. It, like, kind of reminds me of Mega Man in a way. Even though I was, I was never really a Mega Man kid growing up, but I remember, like... I used to be, uh, how to say this, such a pick-me <laughs> like, in like middle school, you know? Like I used to hang out with the boys because it was like, oh, they don't have as much drama as the girls, you know? <laughs> middle school me be like. And they would play Mega Man all the time and they would play Metroid too. And I remember everyone would crowd around uh, when, when someone got to the end of one of the Metroid games and it showed like Samus like Zero Suit Samus, and all the boys would crowd around and be like, Oh my god, here it comes, here it comes! <laughs> I'm all about silhouettes. Yeah, this is such a good silhouette! Right? I was just talking about, like, like I wasn't that much of a Mega Man person, but... Are any of you familiar with Tronbon? Them pixels. I... Okay, I wanna... Should I have... I should have, like, a smidge of orange in there, right? Let's desaturate a little, but darken. Besides it being a V, the 8 is also because of Riska. I know what you are. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Maybe... Maybe here? And then this should actually go up here. Ah, there we go. But we also need... Oh wait, therein lies the problem we need. No, I think this will work. This will work. We do this. This also needs to be a little bit darker. Like that. Oh, okay. She, she's like, <laughs> just like me for real, for real. Who, who did I like from Homestuck? I want to say Terezi. Terezi? How do you pronounce her name? Terezi? Piropi. Um, the thing is, so my my astrological sign is um, I'm a Sagittarius, and I did not like. <laughs> what is it? Equius? Was that his name? I think it was also the fact that his character design was kind of slimy looking. You know, oh, I don't know if I can make the. Can we make the eight happen? Can we make that happen on like the pixels only? Because I think it's just gonna turn out to be like this. 
It's just gonna turn out to be like a... Mm -hmm. Maybe... Take turn off... Turn off symmetry. It's gonna look like a 7. It's gonna look like another one of your forms. You're a Scorpio? A oh, lucky, you see? <laughs> He was always sweating, yeah, he was always sweating, and I, I was just kind of like, man, why is this our representation? <laughs> Though, kind of tangentially related, did any of you guys watch um, Fruits Basket or read it? Because, like, that was also some Zodiac representation. Put the pink next to the empty space. Like, here? Where? Sa'an. <laughs> Furuba, yeah! That, okay, that was definitely like one of my first fandoms other than Digimon, was Furuba. <laughs> I love Rin. The first Furuba series was a trip, yeah! Up a level? Lower? Like, like here? <laughs> tell me, tell me. Hatsuharu was uh, one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where would be a square move it to the left? Square move it to the left. So, here? Oh, and then, wait. Kind of like that? Or if you want to uh, communicate, yeah, like that, like that. I mean, I watched Fruits Basket as a very young kid with my older siblings and loved it despite how much it confused me. Yeah, because it goes over a lot of like very complex. <laughs> like, it goes over a lot. Close enough. <laughs> do you want me to do it like this instead? Like that? Bring back the original 7 thing. You might need to draw it for me. <laughs> like... Something like that? <laughs> you might need to draw it for me. So like, take a screenshot of this. And then, and then tell me, tell me how to do it, and I'll do my best. <laughs> Since you, you have me on your your DMs. <laughs> but yeah, fruits basket. Um, the first series was a trip, especially because like it wasn't able to cover the entire manga, right? Like I remember it stopped before it introduced Kureno and uh, Rin. On it, boss. Yeah, there you go. I'll leave it like this while you while you do that. I want to make sure it's it's to your vision. <laughs> Oh, let me save. What? Yeah, it was before they they introduced Rin and uh, and Kurano, who was like the year of the the rooster and the and the horse, and I'm year of the horse. So I was like, man, I want some representation, you know, middle school me, <laughs> talking like that. <laughs> oh, okay, you sent it. You sent it. Let me see. Um... Oh, I see. So... Like that, boss? <laughs> Truly, we are the blind leading the death. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm in rabbit year. I'm bunny-coded, bunny, bunny-coded so much. Every single story, as soon as you said bunny, Simei, like, I immediately remembered Momiji's story. Like, every story is so sad. Remove the pixels, the pixels that aren't drawn on. Like that? Every story was so sad with Momiji, the whole- like... <laughs> Wait, okay, instead of talking about the sad stories... Dimoto! <laughs> we playing JoJo now. We playing JoJo now. 
Um, instead of talking about the sad stories in Furuba, do you remember? Um, what was the sheep's name? What was his name? We figured it out, boys. Are we going home? <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hiro, right? Hiro is the sheep. The the one with the sheep spirit. Wasn't it like uh, I'm kind of uncultured? No, no, no. <laughs> I don't believe in that. Everyone has culture in some way. <laughs> I want to say it's Hiro. Hiro was the the one with the the sheep spirit. Uh, wait, actually, do we have room to do this? Yeah. Okay, look at that. Okay. Now the question is, uh, this outline, shall we change the color a teensy bit? I think that might be... that might actually be it. Yeah, let's change the color just a smidge. Oh yeah, well, the point that I wanted to get to before I... <laughs> before I forget is that, um, Hiro's mom was like one of the only parents that like fully accepted him with the whole like as soon as he was born his mom was like I love sheep like can you imagine because like the, the whole thing with fruits basket is there's a lot of stories of like the parents abandoning their kids like a lot of stories like that <laughs> so it's it's just like a, a real drama conga line you know um but I think that also makes it uh, all the more touching when like when stuff like that happens where it's like oh man the mom actually like accepts their child what a concept <laughs> all anime is abandon the child bear have you read hoseki no kuni yes i have sime yes i did read that latest chapter yes i am very sad yes <laughs> i am in despair <laughs> yes 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 man did you see that meme, uh, Sime, where it's like... <laughs> they thought that the cycle of, of death and rebirth was for one time only. They mad. <laughs> that bot is my, my special little guy. All anime has abandoned the child. Mm -hmm. Furuba Dobi parental abandonment and neglect the series. It's true, it's true. Like, so much of it is like... <laughs> Parental abandonment, <laughs> and then the shining, you know, the the shining beacon is when that doesn't happen. <laughs> it's so good, you know what? Not H and K, not sad, but I am tearing up. Oh my gosh, we homestucks may hate the Italians, but at least we ain't that good. <laughs> Zako, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> no, what's funny about like me and Danganronpa is that I never played the game. <laughs> I'm part of the <laughs> I'm part of the folks that uh, entirely consumed the first game through that one forum. Do you guys know what I mean? There was like a forum that just posted the screenshots and like translations cuz I think it's before Danganronpa actually had like an official translation. <laughs> Yeah, Zako, you're not gonna believe this, but every shitty fandom, guess who was in it? <laughs> no, actually, there were a few that I, I wasn't in. Like, I think after the 2010s, that's when I was, like, in, like, college mode. You're still a person with human rights. <laughs> Incorrect, I'm a bear. <laughs> Wait, so the ones that I didn't get into, though, um... Voltron? Was that... Is that the right one? Voltron? Uh, like... Like the, like the newer one, the one that was like in the 2010s. Is that the one? I forgot if it was like Voltron or it was like... It was like another... It was like an old show that got revived. Yeah, it was Voltron. It was Voltron. I'm anime watcher. I'm still not over the winter arc. So much of HNK is just despair. And I remember like HNK uh, came to me at a time in my life when I was like really learning about like just the meaning and definition of like trauma. 
and I remember just thinking like, wow, this anime is literally like, <laughs> like there's a d it's it's kind of like Majora's like Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, and that you can you can interpret. There are so many different ways that you can interpret the story, right? I'm kind of just adding random bits of like shading, just for texture. Um, I feel like I feel like H and K is the same way. I think for me, I interpret it as like a story about like trauma and how it like changes you. How you can literally be transformed, like not necessarily for the better, <laughs> like due to trauma. But like I've also seen people interpret it more with like you know kind of the Buddhist themes. Hold on, let me, let me make sure I'm doing. Doing you some justice with with this. Oh, yeah, I think I think that's good actually. No, you know what? We need some shine. We need a little bit of shiny, shiny story. There you go. What do you think, Zako? How is it? <laughs> BPS. All I need is Junko, I'd rather not learn of the rest. <laughs> oh, fuck Goli and all of my homies hate Goli. <laughs> Lunar Arc hurts me so good. You triggered my sleeper cell. It was Voltron, fuck that franchise. Oh no. <laughs> I love the story of changing and boy, HNK really tearing up, uh, tearing the idea of host till almost nothing is left. Exactly, exactly. Like, man. <laughs> What's flesh, what's metal, that's up to you. She's lovely. You're lovely. <laughs> I got into Voltron very late, and then that final season dropped, and to be honest, my hyperfixation in the series has never been killed so quickly. <laughs> oh, no, was it that bad? I still haven't finished the show. Was it that bad? Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah. It's, no, you know what? I feel like since the helmet is so shaded, let's let's add just a smidge to to the metal parts. Just a just a little smidge. There you go, like that. I'm a, I'm a true super robot girly. I weaponize my autism against apocrypha. That's a word that I remember learning from from that one Bible class I talked about the other day. <laughs> the apocrypha. But all right, here are the oomphies that we have uh, pixelated today. We got Saku over here. Actually, yeah, let's zoom in. We got Saku. Here is... Ah, there we go. Here is her... Her pixelated model. We got Hux. Bald Hux with the little flowers. Right? And then an attempt at an orb. And then we have Zako. Cute cute toy. Cute cute eldritch goddess. <laughs> oh wait, my cat wants out. Give me a second, I'll be right back. I'm back. So yeah, those. I think this is where I'm going to stop in terms of pixel art. And you know what? I am starting to feel my throat a little bit more. So I think this is also where I'm going to call it. But we're also going to do our class uh, mosh pit. <laughs> so oh yeah. So if if any of you who are new here, if you guys uh, want want me to make pixel art of you, I would love to. But the catch is, you're gonna have to give me your. You're either gonna have to DM me your model or your your Sona, or a good alternative is, you can join my Discord, which is linked in the chat. You don't have to if you don't want to. No, no pressure, you know. But uh, you know, it's a fun little spot for all the bibbing cubs to to chat about stuff. And you can also show me any kind of art that you've made, and we can do it for art appreciation. And if there's a topic that you're hyper-focused on, you can tell me about it there as well. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. That moment when Fos couldn't even recognize their younger self hurt me so bad. Oh, people, please. Yeah, you're, you're hitting me right in the chest right now. 
I didn't see the fan animation. It, uh, post it, post it in either content Rex or or general. I, like, I, I kind of want to see that. I feel like hurting today. <laughs> I can't throw stuff to set up the mosh. It's okay. I'll do it. No, I, I, I turned it off. That's right. <laughs> I was about to take my night meds, perfect timing. Yeah, well, thanks for tuning in, Zako. All right, so everyone, if uh, if you're ready for the mosh, let me turn off the Spotify music. It's it's pretty easy what you guys are going to do. Um, you just have to pick some, some emotes and just spam it. <laughs> um, but let me go ahead and set up uh, our mosh music for today. You guys feeling like... Let me close this. Are you guys in the mood for folk metal? I got a whole bunch of recommendations from, from Matthew, but wait a second. Moshing music. No, actually, let's listen to we are gonna listen to folk metal, but it's going to be uh it's it's by a band called Bloody Wood. <laughs> uh let me share, let me share. I have pirate metal song. Oh, put it in content rex. I'll put it in, in my uh in my playlist. Okay, let me put away a sprite. Go ahead and share my browser. Washing music. I'm gonna do some work to see ya. Yeah, thanks for joining in, uh, CMA. All right, let's listen to this. All right, everyone, go ahead and pick an emote. Wanna I remember this is, huh? <laughs> More than just my armpit stink. Girl, that is armpit not a stink. Secret. That's why I use secret whole. Okay, get ready. Get ready, get ready. This is graded. Oh, you know what? Let's turn on the lights. Don't trip over each other, okay? <laughs> I'll put the overhead projector so no one trips on the cords. All right, ready and go. Oh, yeah, trigger warning, flashing lights. Get to moshing. Yo, those emotes are so cool, Zako. <laughs> The dancer that's just like Colin. Is it the blue skin? So titles are also really good. <laughs> Zako, these emotes are insane. <laughs>
Oh yeah, a little bit headbang. <laughs> Dianork, yes! Kalima! <laughs> Isn't this sick? Damn, this like makes me want to head back. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Woo! Good job, everyone. Good job. Great moshing. As always, you guys get an A+. <laughs> By the way, this song's pretty, pretty interesting, isn't it? I think I'm pretty sure it's about a... Uh... You know, if you can talk to a uh, to like a person who's reformed in their their ways that they see other people, then you can change his kind with your mind. But otherwise, <laughs> for people who do S A and all of that stuff, bring all the beat down. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go rest now. I'm gonna go rest so that hopefully I can be feeling better. I'll be back on Friday with uh, I think Hypnospace Outlaw. I thought I finished it a couple weeks ago, but it turns out I didn't. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play the epilogue, or I'm gonna play uh, what remains of that game, and then uh, then we'll go from there. Uh, but yeah, thanks everyone, thanks everyone for tuning in. It means a lot. Um, and also thank you again, Sushi and Zako for the raids. And uh, as always, let me go to the outro screen. I think they changed they changed the raid stuff. They changed the raid settings for me. I don't know, it was kind of weird, but we're gonna go ahead and raid into know me, okay? Rest well, get something good to eat. Yeah, I will, I will. Thanks for the stream. Go rest, no more sick. Very true. All right, let's go ahead and raid know me. Oh yeah, they definitely like changed. They changed the raid thing. Okay, that's so strange, but all right. Uh, say hi to know me for me and uh, be good. <laughs> nah, I trust you guys. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Oh wait, I, I actually gotta start the damn thing. <laughs> we gotta start the damn raid. Alright, have a good evening, afternoon, and morning, wherever you are. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye!